This is John Cole with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you, and this episode is not going to be about food or raw foods or anything, but something also really important for your health, something you might do each and every day. And uh, what I'm going to talk about today is 10 reasons why I will never buy another gasoline operated or even diesel or internal combustion engine operated car again after owning a Nissan Leaf. <laughs> so. Yes, it's true, I did buy an electric car several months ago, and I've been using it now for the last few months, getting used to it, and I've learned that I really like it, and that I believe everybody should be buying an electric car in this day and age, and we need to really move away from gasoline or diesel, um, or internal combustion engines. And there's many reasons for this, and I guess in this episode, without further ado, I wanna just get into my top 10 reasons, all right? So uh, number one reason, is simply the cost, right? I didn't buy this 2014 Nissan Leaf new. <laughs> hey, more power to you if you buy your electric car new, but you know, not that rich. I actually bought it used. So 2014, I bought it in what, 2017, a couple years old. Actually, I got it for about one third of the original sticker price. And plus this is like the S model, the stripped down model without the super fast charging. So maybe not as desirable. But nonetheless, I got it at one third the price of a new one. Now, if you do buy a used electric car, I do encourage you guys to make sure that the battery is in good shape because, you know, although you might be getting a good deal, if the battery is worn out, you really can't drive that long on a single charge. Furthermore, something like a, you know, smart car, which they have also electric, has like this $80 mandatory battery fee that you actually got to pay back to uh, Mercedes to basically rent the battery. And can't, if you opt out of that, then they take the battery away. And that's just with some smart cars. But anyways, uh, although the cost of the car wasn't too expensive, the thing is every mile you drive, it's about a, one third of the price of a gasoline car. Because there's less maintenance, you don't have to buy gas, and electricity is a lot less expensive than gas. So the next reason why I like the electric car is because it's a lot easier to basically fuel up parked in or outside your garage. I basically just have a charging cord right here. We just open the front of the leaf right here. And we can basically just plug it in and then we're charging, you know? So no longer do I need to find a gas station, no longer do I need to pay money to fill up at that gas station, all that kind of stuff. So the third reason why I'll never buy another gasoline car again as I open up the hood here on my Nissan Leaf is because it's less maintenance. You know, although there is an engine in here, you know, this does not have an air cleaner. You don't have to change the oil. You don't have to go in for timing belt changes, anything like that. So yeah, less maintenance. I don't have to get my hands dirty changing toxic oil and other fluids and stuff like that. Reason number four why I like my electric car more than any gasoline car I've owned is because there's 10 times less parts if you guys look in this engine compartment, there's not like all these wires and hoses and everything going away, any everywhere. They definitely got some stuff in here, but basically there's 10 times less parts to break on an electric car than on your regular car. How many times have you had your car and then it, it breaks and it's some obscure part? I mean, I know on my other vehicle, I have like uh, emission systems challenges all the time and it's an older vehicle and the check engine light's always on, then I gotta buy this part or that part or the EGR or this and that. All these extra things to do, right? On an electric car, you'll never have to do any of that because there's 10 times less parts, less things to break. Fifth reason why I like an electric car instead of a gas car or internal combustion engine car is that there's no smog checks. I mean, outside a smog station here, and you know, I always hate getting a smog because you never know if it's gonna pass and you gotta pay like hundreds of dollars to get it fixed if it doesn't pass. Plus, it's just an inconvenience to go go get a smog check. How do you take time out of your day and all this stuff? That'll never happen with an electric car. So the sixth reason why I'll never get another gasoline car again is because it's healthier for you and the planet. On my electric car, there are no emissions, so you know there's no exhaust pipe. In addition, you know when I'm pumping or when I'm not pumping gas, when you pump gas, you smell the gas fumes. You know on. In California, there's Proposition 65 warning stickers on every gas pump saying that, you know, uh, the smelling of gas and the gasoline may cause cancer. 
So, you know, I don't want any of that stuff, and with an electric car, you're not gonna get any of that stuff with your car. Reason number seven why I'll never buy another gas car again is because electric cars can be run on renewable energy. I'm sitting here at a solar-powered electric uh, car charging station here that actually has solar panels on top. It's storing the energy in batteries and then it pumps it out uh, into my car. And so in this way, like if gas stopped flowing into the country, if gas stations, you know, went out of business, if there's no gas to sell, if you had electric panel or, you know, solar panels on your roof and batteries, you could charge your electric car up without depending on anybody else. And I believe this is totally amazing to become independent from the system and to become a producer, you know, of electricity, of your food, of everything you could produce instead of being a consumer in our consumer-driven society. In my opinion, the consumer-driven society is really screwing this planet up. We're just mining all and extracting all these different oil and natural gas and resources from the planet and we're literally ruining the planet in the long run. But if you could power from renewables, you know, the sun's out shining each and every day to power your electric car, you know, that's definitely a step in the right direction. Reason number eight, I'll never buy another gasoline car again is because basically with an electric car, you get free gas. Well, all right, you don't exactly get free gas, but how many gas stations have you ever pulled up into that basically you can just take off the, uh, you know, off the nozzle, put it in your car and get free gas, right? You can't. But with electric vehicles, there's many stations, or electric charging stations that will offer you and give you free gas or free power to put into your car. You know, right here I'm standing at the electric company of uh, my area and they have a free charging station that's powered by the solar that you guys just saw and they just give you the power. I mean, <laughs> that being said, they're raking us over the coals on the back end when we gotta buy power from them for air conditioning units and all that household stuff. So I'm glad at least they're giving back and uh, providing some free power to charge your electric car with solar energy. But nonetheless, even around the city that I live in, there's many different free charging sites at businesses or you know government um, you know parking areas. The local university has free uh, charging you know while you're uh, there on the property. And so local shopping malls, I could go shopping at Trader Joe's and plug in my car and get free energy, get free gas <laughs> while I'm shopping, right? And so it's like literally free to drive in that sense. And I think this is completely amazing and I believe more places should install <laughs> you know, more charging stations so that uh, I could charge and you guys could charge for free. Reason number nine, I'll never get another gasoline car again and I'm happy to have an electric car is because I no longer have to buy gas, but more importantly, support the oil and gas industry that in my opinion are literally devastating the earth. Literally they're you know, drilling everywhere, they're causing oil leaks, they're killing animals in the Gulf, all kinds of crazy stuff's happening just for oil. So I'm so glad that I no longer need to buy oil and neither do you if you guys get an electric car. So the 10th and final reason why I like an electric car and I'll never get another gas car again is because generally they have way more torque and power than a standard gas car. I'm driving right now going 52 miles an hour and I'm just gonna go ahead and floor it for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, all right? Wait, let me catch up to this uh, car here and then I'll floor it. Okay, you can see we're like even with the car and I'll floor it, whoa! And like really, it just really picks up really fast. I mean, the Tesla, which is a electric car, is probably the fastest production car, zero to 60 in like 3.2 seconds or something insane. But yeah, definitely fun to drive. Nice and peppy and torquey, you know, makes me want to be a kid again. <laughs> if you ever had a sports car, because I did. But at the same time, you know, I could punch this eco mode button, right? And if you punch the eco mode, it slows things down a little bit. And at the same time, while it is fun to drive and quite peppy, right? Um, you press the eco mode and because you're running on batteries the whole time, you're always thinking about like driving nicer. You know, you don't want to be flooring it too fast. There's a little gauge on the um, instrument panel that shows you like how much uh, battery energy you're using. And it like, it goes up in lights. So like right now I'm using three uh, bars of energy. And if I let my foot off the gas, I'm only using two. And the less battery energy you're using, the longer you could use it. So if I use like seven bars, you know, my battery would run out really fast and that would shorten the amount of 
mileage you have. So yeah, so at the same time, you'll actually drive safer because you're gonna slow down a little bit. Plus you have also, as I'm stopping right now, the regenerative braking. As you're stopping, basically the bars go the other direction and actually it charges up the battery so you could even drive further. That pretty much brings me to the end of this episode today. 10 reasons why I will never buy another gas car again. And hopefully after you learn these reasons, you'll never want to buy another gas car again. I would highly and strongly encourage you guys to get an electric car as your next vehicle. You know, the Leaf here has about a 80, 90 mile range, the model I got. Now they're over 100. And if you get, you know, a certain GM uh, models, they have the new Bolt over 200 mile range of course the tesla the model 3 is coming out later this year going to be over 200 300 mile range depending on what option you get and you know range anxiety is a thing and what that is is because your car can only go 80 miles on a charge you think i can't go that far but you know what it just makes you be more efficient with your travels you know going stop to stop and actually using less energy to get there and i want all of us to be more concerned about the ener our energy use, whether that's, you know, food energy, you know, of course, plants are the things that take the least amount of sun energy and net energy to grow and consume, whereas animal agriculture uses significantly more energy. But same thing with your car, right? When you're burning fuel in your car, you're sitting there idling, you're wasting energy. But, you know, what if that energy is renewable or sun energy? So anyways, this is a kind of a different kind of video for me, but if you guys enjoyed this episode, hey, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also put your comments and questions about electric cars down below. Maybe I'll try to answer a few if I can. I'm really into electric cars and I look forward to uh, getting my next electric car that I put money down on and be like two years ago, which is the Tesla Model 3 that hopefully I'll get sometime maybe next year. Um, also, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge, uh, generally speaking, about all aspects of your life on how you can live a healthier lifestyle and lighter footprint on this planet. Also, be sure to uh, click the subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on any of my new and upcoming episodes I've coming out about every five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel that will hopefully enhance your life. So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables powered by the sun. They're always the best.